Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we'll be talking about that time that John Adams visited the grave of a man who killed the King of England. Let's get into it. So, in seven, August of 1774, John Adams was on his way to the First Continental Congress, and along the way he stopped in New Haven, Connecticut. Now, Fortunately for us, John Adams kept a diary for most of his adult life. And then, he ended up becoming, you know, John Adams. So, it's a wealth of information. And I was perusing it recently, and I, I was struck for several reasons about this particular entry on August 17th, 1774. First of all, what I was looking for, I really enjoy finding out when, these, when the founders met for the first time in their relationships. And this was the first time John Adams met with Roger Sherman. Now, you might be familiar with the name Roger Sherman. If not, I will put a link to the video I made about him down below. Roger Sherman uh, would go on to sign, be the only person to sign all four major documents of the Revolution, the Articles of Association after the First Continental Congress, the Declaration of Independence, the Articles of Confederation, and the United States Constitution. He is most famous for uh, crafting being the main crafter of the Connecticut Compromise, also known as the Great Compromise, where which gave the United States Constitution equal representation in the Senate and proportional representation by population in the United States House of Representatives. But that was 12, 13 years away. At this point, Roger Sherman was just a very radical patriot in Connecticut. Also, Sherman had been elected to accompany John Adams to the First Continental Congress. So, their meeting is, of course, very interesting to me. And what's very extra interesting is John Adams actually writes about Sherman. I have a quote here from the diary where he says, Sherman believed that Parliament could regulate for the colonies in no case whatever. <laughs> Sherman was actually a lot more radical, a lot farther en route to independence than really anyone else seemed to have been at the time, at least according to John Adams' first impression. So anyway, Sherman and several other leading members of New Haven Society give John Adams a tour. Uh, they bring him to Yale, for example, and it seems like uh, they wanted to show off their facilities to the, this Harvard man. It didn't see... It's not that they wanted to say, hey, guy from Harvard, look how much better our school is than yours. No, they wanted to say, hey, while you're traveling across countries, if you come across any intelligent young men with deep pockets, please send them our way. Um, and then they, uh, they travel, they see a bunch of churches and the rest of the town. And then they make a stop, and this is what you're here for, at Dixwell the Regicide's grave. So, John Dixwell... 125 years before this day where Adams is in New Haven, 100 plus years beforehand, John Dixwell is one of the people who killed the King of England during the English Civil War. I believe it was Charles I. There was a, a revolution or a civil war, whatever you wanted to call it, and they literally killed him. And then a few years go by and they are ousted and the monarchy comes back. And if the heirs of the king that you killed are now king, you want to get out of town as fast as you can. And that's precisely what John Dixwell did. Him and three other people, they left town and they came to Connecticut, believe it or not. And that's where they spent the rest of their days after murdering a king. Anyway, they uh, Dixwell lives under assumed name for most of his life and then passes away and is buried there. And his grave becomes kind of a, a curiosity of sorts over the years. Because, you know, they ended up finding out who he was. And he's buried with this tomb. So people who were in New Haven would go visit the grave. Because it was as touristy a tourist attraction as you were going to have in colonial America. So, of course, they bring him... Uh, Sherman and his cohorts bring John Adams to see this, and he writes about it in his diary. And what I found so interesting is these gentlemen, Not first of all, yes, it's the type of thing, if you're in New Haven, you gotta go see. But at the same time, these gentlemen who are about to throw off their king, whether they know it or not, they're about to throw off the king of England, and they take the time out of their day to go say hi to the man who once th 
threw off the King of England. So, that's a brief description of John Adams' August 17th, 1774 visit to New Haven, Connecticut. A lot of good information on one seemingly bland footnote from history, which, you know, I, I, I always like to talk about. Hopefully I'll bring you a little, a few more of these more randomy <laughs> things instead of just the bios, which I usually do. So, uh, I, I'm Jason. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to, please hit like. If you like this video, if you wanted to subscribe, that would be great. And uh, if you want to support me, you can check out my Patreon page. I have several fun things on there uh, to help keep this website, my website, and this YouTube channel alive. So thank you so much. I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow.